So today I'm going to talk about how to make a beef liver. You need to take an empty uh, pot and put oil in it. Then you need to cut onions the way I did and then fry them until they are a little bit golden brown. Stir fry them and uh, you need to wait like five minutes. Maybe put a lid on it and let them simmer. This is a very important step because you cannot leave After your that in onions a separate like that. Bowl, put liver and some yeah. apple cider vinegar and garlic paste in it and set it. And back to the our recipe and put some tomatoes, diced tomatoes in it. And you need to stir fry them until you have made a mesh or a curry type of consistency. With this um, onions and tomatoes, then you need to put ginger garlic paste in it because that's the main ingredient which takes off the smell of that liver. It's very important for any Indian dish to put onion garlic paste. That's a very common thing that all of the cooks put then. You need to stir them, fry them until you see a mushy or a consistent gravy type of material. And then you need to put red chili powder, Kashmiri red chili, turmeric, garam masala, and cumin seeds in it. And you need to fry them as well. I would recommend after a minute, you need to put maybe some water so that the these the spices do not burn. Uh, because I'm cooking on medium heat, they can burn really quick. So it's better to put some water in it the way I'm doing over here. You can see I pour some water, like half cup of water. Uh, you don't have to put more water in later stage because already liver would have a lot of water in it and it will try to give water from itself. So don't worry about it. Don't put any more water. You need to fry the liver in this batter and do not cook liver for more than five minutes because liver gets hardened and then you cannot eat it. It will become like a rock solid. You need to eat it soft. And don't worry, it will be fully cooked because we are cooking liver, not a flesh or not, a, you know, not meat. So liver is a different material. It's an organ. So you don't have to worry about cooking it too long. Um, yeah, so cook it and put lid on it and let it simmer for five minutes or 10 minutes. And after that, you take some fenugreek, dried leaves, some diced red green chilies and garam masala and put them Put this batter after the liver has been cooked for 10 minutes. Put them in. You need to check how soft it is. It is quite soft as I check with my spoon right now. Uh, so right, right now is the time to put this, this, these three ingredients in it. Fenugreek, gram masala, and green chilies. So I took three, three, two green chilies, by the way, and a, a one teaspoon consistency. Yeah, and then mix it together like the way mamas do. Mix it, mix it, mix it, and see how how nicely done it. How nicely it looks. Um, do not put spoon in the middle. You need to always put spoon on the corners. This is my flatbread that I'm gonna eat it with. This is Iranian or Persian flatbread. I love it. Uh, it's it's rarely available in Los Angeles where I live, so you can get them from any Persian shop or any flatbread you can take. It's gonna be really nice and at the end when it's cooked i put some coriander leaves or cilantro that's what we call in america you can cut them some of the stems and then garnish it on top of it and yeah this is my bread i warm it up on the frying pan and yeah they let it simmer for another minute and serve it as you like so i i try to serve it on top of the flatbread and put my beef liver which has been cooked on top of it and i enjoy it the way it is you can see how soft it is and how yummy it is thank you guys i hope you like it